I've been searching Follow every step, every road, every single trace This is one of multiple videos discussing regular expressions. Now if you wanted to filter even more, rather than specifying regex here, we could do quote regular expression. And now pipe that to say include. And let's include something like this. So dot 129 dot. Remember we have to escape the special meaning of the dot here because otherwise that's any single character and we want an actual dot. And notice there we go. So 129, the last autonomous system in the AS path is 286. Scrolling down it looks like we only have 286 as an option there but you could do any kind of variation of this. Let's see if a route advertised from 56203 includes 129. I'll show you some examples on Cisco's website in a moment, but a lot of this is really up to your imagination and the use case that you're looking for. The great thing about using show commands like this is you can just try things and see if they work. So I'm not sure if that's gonna time out. Let's have a look at the Cisco website in the meantime. So on Cisco's website, you'll find a lot of examples about using regular expressions in BGP, and they'll talk about only allowing networks, say, from one autonomous system, or only allowing networks that have passed through a specific autonomous system, or denying networks that originated in an autonomous system, but permitting other networks, or allowing networks that originated from an autonomous system, and autonomous systems directly attached to that. So here's a BGP topology. We've got AS3, AS1, and AS4. And this example only allows networks originating from autonomous system four. So notice caret four dollar. So the router will only receive updates from this neighbor because of this route map pointing to this autonomous system path access list where the routes originated from autonomous system four and didn't go through any other autonomous systems. So ensures only networks that originated from that autonomous system are allowed into the local router's BGP routing table. Or only allow networks that have passed through autonomous system four to enter the local autonomous system. So notice here, space, four, space. So four has to be in the AS path. Four has to appear in the list of autonomous systems that advertised that route. Deny networks originated in autonomous system four and permit all other networks. So deny, notice four dollar, so space four, in other words, only autonomous system four. We are denying routes that originated in autonomous system four, but then permitting any other routes. Dot is any single character. This means repeat this zero or more times, so this is anything else. Here's an interesting one. Allow networks that originated in autonomous system four and autonomous systems directly attached to autonomous system four. So starting backwards, ending because of dollar, zero to nine is any character re repeated zero or more times. So either only four, in other words, the routes only come from four or four and another autonomous system. So as an example, we would allow autonomous system four or autonomous system four space 10 or four space a thousand. Only networks that originated from autonomous system four and autonomous systems directly attached to autonomous system four. So we've got two decision criteria there. So back on our router, we've got no entries for that network. So let's do something else. Let's look for 
routes that originate in that autonomous system number. So that autonomous system number, but let's include, say, 202. So 202 dot, and there we go. So routes that originated in this autonomous system, but look for 202 in the list of routes. So notice all of these routes are 202 something, and they all originate in this autonomous system. Regular expressions are really powerful. A good way to get started with regular expressions is simply to type show run on a router or a switch and type include and then try things. So again, show run pipe include E shows me all lines that include E. But if we say E dollar, that's all lines that end in E. Or as an example, all lines that end in O. And we could say something like show me all lines and to get ideas, just type show run. So show me all lines that include space M, pipe zero dollar. So they should include something M and end in a zero. So we're getting all the media types here, but we're also getting lines that end in zero. So we've got space M, space M here. So what I should do is do a caret there. So begin with space M or end in a zero. And there you go. End in zero, end in zero, space M, space M, end in zero, and so forth and so on. Just use show run pipe and then you can play around with various options. Let's have a look at another one. In this example, I'll tell net to a physical router. This is a Cisco 3750 router. Show interface status. Status rather than stat actually. So do that again. Show interface status. Shows me various interfaces on a switch. And shows me the status, not connected, duplex and so forth. So if we did show interface status, pipe include A100, that shows me all interfaces that have negotiated order 100 megabits per second. We could also say order negotiation 100 or a speed of 100. Now in this example, all interfaces have negotiated to 100 rather than being hard coded to 100 megabits per second. But we could also look for something else. Let's look for all interfaces that are not connected. So show me all interfaces that are not connected. There you go. Or show IP interface brief pipe down. I should say include down. That shows me all interfaces that are currently down. Regular expressions are very powerful. Here's another one. Show interface pipe include line. So that shows me all interfaces with the word a line in them. We could say show me interfaces that include a description. So notice we're getting the description in the output now. And then we could say include bits. So we're looking for line or description and bits per second on that interface, like this. There are many good examples on the internet. So either have a look on Cisco or other places for examples of regular expressions. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.